think it's time for a break. I'm gonna head over to the commons. Guess we'll start then. All right. Okay. Welcome to Goldberg Gom. Wow, that's a good intro right <laughs> there. Yeah, Welcome. He's nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in front of stars right now. Yeah. Oh, boy. Welcome to the Cold Brew Commons. Whether you need a study break, a place to relax, iced coffee, or just to procrastinate, we're here for you, you know? Today I have a uh, special treat, more like an interview of sorts. I have the Sligals. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Yes. Hi. Hello. Welcome, guys. That's Welcome. Us. Thank it's you good for to be having here. us. They uh, just released their uh, new album, Sitting on a Yellow Curb? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. How mm -hmm. did you uh, how'd you come up with that title? Good man. I think you gotta take that one. Oh, really? <laughs> First of all, we're allowed to curse on this? Yeah, just stay away from, like, F-bombs. Okay. <laughs> no F-bombs. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'll try to keep it clean. Sitting on a Yellow Curb. How did we come up with that? Uh, we were outside. That's That's probably the most important part of the story is that we were outside um in kind of a street setting and um there was well, the I, yellow curb i think i think we were kind of like yeah so this was like the first day this was like bubble butt bottom boys slaggles yeah. our that, first track ever yeah that's the first song that we recorded was bubble butt bottom boys um so and adam was just like okay what do we name it and we looked around and we saw a yellow curb yeah and we said, sitting on a yellow curb, mm -hmm. that's it. There is no more to that story <laughs> yeah, than yeah. just looking at a yellow curb and saying, that's the album, uh -huh. that's what we're going to name it. That's about right, yeah. yeah. Nice and simple, I like it. Mm -hmm. So, what was the inspiration for the album? Like, How did it just come into flourishing? Well, yeah, I can take that. It kind of started one day we were hanging out in Adam and Lucas's room, and Adam started making this beat. In Garage Band, uh, and, yeah. and as it, it was right after the homecoming football game, where we left at halftime because it was raining and we were losing, so we left the football game. We came back. Adam started making this beat, and I was like, "I'm gonna hop on this." I'm, and I started writing just trash, and uh, it, I think it was actually a diss track towards Cardi, Cardi B. B. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah very beginning. Was <laughs> but, the but, track. but you can't understand <laughs> yeah. it you, exactly because the beat I made was like apparently it was similar to a Cardi B song. Yeah, oh, and so oh, Sam yeah. was like, "I'm gonna make a diss track on Cardi B." And I was like, "Well, okay." <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, so that's where it all started. Yeah, that's, that's how it started, yeah, and that's uh, that's about a. Bubble, 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 bubble blood, bottom boys. Mm -hmm. That is that track. So. That Featuring track, Mason. I was about to say that also included Mace Bass. Mace Bass. <laughs> yep. Who the uh, our RA. The king of all RAs. Yes. Actually, mm. the best RA. Uh huh. He uh, lives by the bathroom. Uh huh. All and... right. <laughs> 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 and he's the best. We all love Mason here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a single person on this floor who has a bad thought about Mason ever. Oh, hell no. Yeah, I think we got pretty lucky with our RA. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know anyone who has a bad RA, but my, yeah, I, couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't wish for a better RA. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's super cool, and yeah. it was cool because like we uh, we wanted to show it to him, and so we showed it to him. We we're like, "Yo, do you want to hop on?" He's like, "Give me five minutes," and literally five minutes later, he came back with the heat that his verse was. <laughs> yeah, and it's the only redeeming it. part. It of was that like song. a couple takes. And he was like, "All right, that's it." And we're like, "Okay, I'll I'll produce it then." And uh, you know, the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, um, within the album, right away with the intro, Adam, you suggest the idea of immersion that you're supposed to be immersed in this album. <laughs> like it's it's a listening experience. Yeah, it, <laughs> it really is. Uh you know, you listen from it. You listen to it from front to back. You get the uh, the intro monologue, the uh, outro monologue. It's uh, I think it really ties. It's like it's the glue of the project. You mm -hmm. know, it really ties it together. It's like the bread of a sandwich yep. that yeah. is the album. Mm -hmm. So, what do you want the listener to experience out of the album? Oh man, I had never really thought about. I that think before. just. Well, Every think, emotion we try to portray. So, uh, like, joy, sorrow. Well, I think any other the emotions. entire cast of Inside Out, basically. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's more, 
we came with more of a comedic yeah. approach than anything. Yeah. Not really taking any song too seriously. No. Literally writing our lyrics and making a beat in one night. Yeah. And, I mean... Sometimes in just several hours. Yeah, yeah and maybe like, people, like, kind of saying, like, hey, yeah, you know, I hate minor inconveniences, too, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, Man, I hate it when I stub my toe, and now there's... There's a song that gives that those people give <laughs> <voice. Yeah. laughs> that power. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Yeah, it's really, I think the one thing to take away from this album is it's just a joke. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yep. really don't take it too seriously. Just have fun with it. Just listen to the songs and just enjoy them. There's not much more to it. Nice. Um, is this a different type of music for you guys? Like, are you into different types of music, and was this kind of a different departure? <laughs> should I Should I say something? Yeah, you yeah. should. <laughs> so it's very much a different thing for me, um, because back home I've got a friend and we're uh, part of a thing called Sunday Night. Yes, I'm going to rep Sunday Night. Uh-huh. And um, He always does. So that's like a singer-songwriter <laughs> kind of pop thing. And then I come over here and I start rapping, and I don't know how that happened, but I'm okay with it. Like your famous uh, yo, yo. Yeah, I think that's in almost every single. Is it? Yeah. Line almost that you every have. one of Sam's verse has that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure about that, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know, Sam. Mm. Uh, so Jared? this was. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Jared. I mean, yeah, Jared? my music style is not much like rap either. I listen to a lot of other things. I do have a little bit of rap, but not not enough to make an album, because <laughs> like, yeah. Well, Adam, you actually had a solo yeah, that's true. career before this. <laughs> AD. Yeah, I go I go by the SoundCloud moniker AD, uh, just in capital A, space, capital D. And uh, that's, uh, that's kind of what started your whole love for music, I guess. Actually, yeah. I was like, I think I was like 15, and I had just gotten a new iPhone, and it came with GarageBand iOS. <laughs> I was like, well... Hell, there's a lot of like instruments on here, so I just started like messing around with that and made the worst, the worst music known to man. <laughs> like it was terrible, and I actually probably should go back and like delete all my old stuff because it is so it's just it's unlistenable. But um, I would say that's kind of like a uh, learning experience, maybe. Um, to kind of where I'm at now, but uh, you know, I've always been kind of interested in rap. I think. The first, the first rap I listened to was old Tyler the Creator, in like sixth grade, which is definitely not appropriate for a sixth grader. But uh, <laughs> ever since then, you know, it's where it started. What about you? Um, I guess I've been, I've never really been a rapper. I've just kind of like listened to rap since like seventh grade, and that's kind of where I started liking rap music i guess that's it for me i never produced made music or anything nice so um this was mentioned earlier but what was the recording order for the songs like you said bubble butt bottom boys was first and then did just kind of oh. continue hold on i might have to look at this yeah it was no, just it was a... it was bubble butt bottom boys intro. intro intro was definitely oh, second hold on no no we're forgetting slow. Okay. So <laughs> there were some songs that were cut. Uh, there were two songs were that we started songs. making. There were cut songs, yeah. That we put too much into, and we were like, you know what? This isn't too. These that. suck. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, like, you want to explain what slow cut. jam would yeah, have been no, about? We uh, we tried to sing, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and that's where happened. we went wrong. And that's where we all went wrong. Yeah. Um, so we just uh, we decided to take it a little less seriously. Mm-hmm. So that's what the rest of the songs are, and they they turn out better that way. Yeah. yeah. So same thing with the other one we <coughs> did, which we was did. kind of like a a song about heartbreak, uh, heartbreak, and yeah. like exes. it was like it was like sad Drake. I think the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the idea it was, was to that's be when sad we were like, Drake, okay. and it's like we <laughs> you can't, know what? we're not Drake. Yeah. We can't do that, so let's just be us instead. Yeah, mm-hmm. We had some so. like uh, church church organ chords that we reversed. And, like, yeah. some <laughs> the beat was cool. Over. The, beat, the beat was the cool. Beat was cool. We were like, ah, oh, sad Drake vibes. And then we were like, you know what? Let's not do sad Drake vibes <laughs> ever again. Yeah. Um, but the order of the tracks. I think... Intro, so it was, uh, it was Bubble Butt Bottom Boys. Fears. Intro, intro Fears. Intro Fears. Um, I know outro was the second to last track we did. Yeah. Yeah. The last was vibin'. The mm-hmm. last was vibin'. 
And if you listen to those, you can kind of tell. Can, if you, you can, listen to the songs, you can tell. You can uh-huh. tell that we actually got better, better. as we... Yeah. Like, I think I get the award for most improved. I yes, think you do, yeah. Because, I think you just do. because of where you just, started. <laughs> yeah, I started so low. You know? mm. Can only get better. Yeah. Something like that. Um... In the middle, it just kind of gets confusing. Yeah, we're, yeah. Just, there's we're ten of them. pumping out songs. Like yeah, we're, there was yeah, a good we were. week like, where we would just do one like every night for a couple of days. Yeah. And... Yeah. Wow. Nice. Um, so going into the album a little bit, um, there's a specific movie that keeps getting mentioned over and over. Oh, he caught it. He got it. Yeah. Wow. So what's the deal with Disney's Nemo? <laughs> <laughs> I think Adam um, should do that one because you started. Well, with I think it. I started yeah. it. Yeah, no, you, you started. started. Yeah, you started it. it. Which song was that? Um, oh, it was Fears. Fears. Yeah. It was Fears. I was saying like I was scared of teenagers mm-hmm. as a hypothetical, yeah. and I thought, well, you nah, are scared of teenagers. Yes, I'm horrified. Terrified. Yeah. And um, so, but I thought like, okay, what's a good like relaxing thing to go to after uh, something scary happens? Let's watch Nemo. Mm-hmm. So I brought that up, and then we all mentioned it at some yeah. point. And I then think I had a Nemo verse. And then I think Garrett had yeah. a Nemo verse. After they like, had well, him, I got it. After like, Adam yeah. and I were like, okay, let's do this intentionally. So then we everybody just... had mentions Nemo once. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know how in Pixar movies they have like little Easter eggs? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this yeah. is our Easter egg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pixar movies our, are, are our Easter eggs. Mm-hmm. It's pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Uh, so majority of us here um, are EA teenagers. Or yeah. something to do with like audio production. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All but one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you use anything that you learned in those classes to help this album in its quality? <laughs> That's all you, Adam. Well, yeah, I guess uh, I did. I did pretty much all the production on it. Uh, Sam helped a lot with the chords, mm-hmm. and then on the outro, um, Lucas and Garrett. We made that beat. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Hold, on. Made, <laughs> hold on. You made the lead. Yeah. I made everything else. Yes. Yeah. Well, we made the other parts. Mm-hmm. You just deleted them. Um, <laughs> but everything that we learned in class, I actually had learned weeks before. Uh, we actually learned it in class. I just figured it out on my own. Like and with was, Studio One. Yeah, in and Studio One. That's that's what we did it on for the most part. Bubble by Bottom Boys was on GarageBand. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But everything else is Studio One, which personally I love. Yeah. I think it's just as good as Pro Tools, and I will fight anybody on that. Um, but, like, there was, there was a day that I was gone in class, and apparently it was, like, where you learned about, like, like delay and reverb automation and stuff. Yeah, like, okay, automation. well, I did that a month ago. So, yeah, I would say that, um, I would say that, well, I wouldn't say that I took stuff from there, from class that I learned, and put it, or like, used it for the album, I think that I kind of did it before we covered it in class. Um, yeah. It helped us learn faster. Oh, yeah, yeah it certainly. So when it was brought up in class, it was like, oh, I was like, have done oh, this. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was so funny watching Pravaxin. By the way, Pravaxin means <laughs> Professor Jackson. Yeah, we no, like It was that. so <laughs> funny watching, like, trying to, like, copy and paste stuff. I was like, if you, D is duplicate, like, you can just press D <laughs> and go from there. <laughs> Like trying and, loop, and try and like loop stuff. I was like, well, nice. It's cool that this album kind of like pushed on your studies, not just like added to them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's time we go into some of the tracks <laughs> and kind of okay. digest the meaning of okay. them. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean that. Yeah. Interesting <laughs> word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like to start with um, shoulder. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, one. one of my personal favorites out of the album. Yeah. I like the vibe to it. Um, but there was a theme that I noticed throughout the track, and of course we're talking about, you know, being with a girl and stuff like that, but as it goes on, the Adam, your first verse per se, um, or first like section, um, it's kind of, it's kind of a good atmosphere, but then as it goes down the list with each of you guys, it kind of starts getting worse, the situation kind of like... Does it end with you? It ends, down down. Yeah, and then it ends with uh, it ends with Sam, and it's just Sam's kind of even like begging at that. Point. Yeah. <laughs> so what's up with that? Was that kind of intentional? You know, it's no. just where we I, never noticed, <laughs> I never noticed. I never noticed. I honestly like, never got, noticed that until yeah. you brought it up. We, but I'm we, like, oh yeah. wow, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. The only thing we noticed was that Sam's verse is Sam, very sad. Yeah, Sam's <laughs> and it made me out of it. Really sad. Yeah, it was. It wasn't the best day. I think. I don't know. Um. 
I think one of the things like you could interpret meaning from that is, uh, so the sample that I used. Um, put your head on, on, yeah, Paul Anka, put your head on my Paul shoulder. Paul Anka, put your head on my shoulder. Love that song. So I, what I did was I uh, sampled that, I uh, pitched it up and sped it up. <coughs> and then I think Sam put in like piano and chords and stuff yep. behind that. But um, uh, at the end, like the kind of like the uh, like the ending of the song is the sample, but it's like slowed down and a little kind bit of creepy. kind of haunting and, yeah. and creepy. So, so I that guess really makes sense. You could kind of go with the progression of how the verses are getting like darker and darker, and the sample leading out is just kind of creepy and haunting. If you want to interpret it that way, then that, that'd be cool. But honestly, didn't even notice until you mentioned it. But it's really cool. But right? it's really it cool. Is dope, yeah, <laughs> we did it without even knowing. Mm -hmm. It's just a pure skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're uh, skill. Yeah, yeah, skill. Definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, moving down the list, we go number one. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, it's bathroom humor. It's, um, yeah. And even. If we go from shoulder to this, it's like a little bit more aggressive in nature. Mm -hmm. um, just, what's the story behind it? Uh, you, Adam went to the bathroom and came back and said, guys, I got a hook. I got a hook. <laughs> uh, well, for the beat, we wanted to make like a like an old XXX Tentacion type beat, where it's like really like distorted and kind of just, you know, just distorted, actually. Um, <laughs> and so I, just, I made that beat with like a ton, like way too much bass. And... Um, and then we were all writing lyrics to it. We were like, okay, well, we got to do a hook. And I was like, well, i gotta, I got to go pee. So I left, and I, as I was peeing, it hit me. I was like, <laughs> I got the hook. <laughs> and all I knew was, like, the flow and, like, what I wanted to say. And then I got in this, I came back, I was like, I got the hook. Get my levels, record me now. And I had no idea, so, like, when it's, like, I got to pee, I got to pee. Um, if you know me, I got to pee. I just, like, I just kind of, like, freestyled that as, as I went. And then, like, the... You know, I gotta go. Kind and, of, kind and, of part. Uh, in the beginning, in the, in the intro to that to the We Go Number One song, you can you can actually hear a toilet flushing. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. real. That's Adam yep. in the bathroom. <laughs> How that's that's me. That, I forgot about that question. Is that actual? That is him. That you captured. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually recorded myself <laughs> actually peeing, and <laughs> um, and I had like the whole thing in there, and then the toilet flush, but. Um, our focus group didn't like the peeing sound. <laughs> yeah. um, so I just put the toilet flush and like just layered a ton of reverb on it and just like, all right, that's good. That'll that's kind of like a setup for the song. So. But if you have any questions about the meaning of We Go Number One, there there is none. There is yeah. none. There's there's absolutely meaning. no meaning to that one. Like uh, Queen Elizabeth the S seventh. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. So okay, that's your best verse, dude. <laughs> it might okay. I have a couple great lines in that verse. Uh, one of them is, I know I'll, I won't swear, I'll just, you F horses, they go nay. Yep, that, I like that that's one. A pretty, uh, that's a good one. I didn't know how I came up with that. And then, um, I guess, something about Barry B. Benson and... <laughs> <laughs> B movie! Barry B. Benson! <laughs> I was told, just go crazy. Yeah. That, and that's yeah, what that I did. Idea. Yeah, this is kind of the vibe of the song. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, uh... Just keep going down. Um, felonies. What was the inspiration behind that? Um, we started with, um, we were going to make a song about dissing the sea store. Right? Yeah, we were. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, we, yeah, because we wanted to go get ice cream from the sea store <laughs> it was yeah. closed. one night. And, and then it, it was closed. closed. <laughs> so we were pissed. And we were, we, yeah, we were sufficiently mad. Um, and so we were like, you know what, let's make a diss track on the sea store. And then somehow that evolved into felonies where I yeah. covered tax evasion. Yeah. And I, um, what do I do? Uh, perjury. 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 Yep. Carrot. Um, what did I do again? I totally forgot my Lucas is you robbery. Did, you did yeah. robbery. Yeah. I did, um, and you did like online yeah, piracy. Oh, yeah, piracy. Oh, piracy, yeah. yeah. Copyright that's, infringement. That's what I talk about, Nemo. Is yeah, that's his yeah. Nemo verse. That's the famous Garrett Nemo verse. Um, um, I, just, we honestly, had to come up with random yeah. acts of crime. I think I had the beat. Oh no, because you, you the felonies is the piano is like doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. yeah. I so, came up with that. Yeah, lead. you came up with that because I had a beat and it was terrible. Yeah, like, it was it pretty was bad. Just grating. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That, oh yeah, that was the one. It sounded like like a goofy like cartoony video game character yeah. beat. It was yeah. really bad. It was really bad. 
Um, and then Sam did the piano on that, and just kind of went from there, honestly. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Just for the record, we are not glorifying felonies. <laughs> and, we well, did, and we did not do any of those. No, we did not. We just no, I, I was about, about to them. say, I was like, are those real? <laughs> we, are, we are not felons. <laughs> Pretty much um, everything in the album, like, there's no, no did not happen. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. yeah. I did not rob a uh, grocery store. <laughs> yeah. No. yeah. I have never committed tax evasion. <laughs> <laughs> tax evasion's cool. <laughs> so, uh, 1031. Was that? Oh. <laughs> oh. There's a memory with all of these. It's so cool. Yeah. That's yeah. probably my favorite part of the album. Should yeah. we, like, really tell them what happened Should that we? night? We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun that night. Yeah, we had a lot of fun on that. Drank a lot of soda. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, went from there. We got really hyper. We'll say that. Yep. Got all that Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah, that was a lot of. That was was a fun fun one. (laughs) Yep. That was a fun one. (laughs) Sam, actually, we listened to that the next day. Yeah, or the two days after, something like that. What did you say? You said. I said, that is not as good as I remember. Yeah. Oh man! I had a little bit too much soda though, so I didn't. <laughs> I didn't record my verse that night. My, I, you know, I had so much soda the sugar gave me a tummy ache. So, uh, yeah. So I didn't record that night, but uh, later on I certainly did, and I hate that verse. Would Would that be like your least favorite verse, like in the whole album? It's one of them. For me, it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's personally one of my best verses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. Garrett I don't killed it. Then. Garrett didn't it. have too much of a stomach ache. So. Uh, nah. Yeah. No. Yep. So kind of like diving into the track a little bit because I think I did enjoy this one a decent amount. Um, spooky, scary skeletons. Oh yeah. We wanted think, a creepy little sample. Yeah, I think you found that because you love that song. Uh huh. Oh yeah. 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 I found that, and I actually I took the sample. And then to like kind of give it a little bit more presence, I uh, duplicated the or like and also make it a little bit more haunting. I duplicated the track, and then the top one I pitched it up seven semitones, and the bottom one I pitched it down five semitones, um, to kind of get like the high end and the low end together. And then I just balanced them, so it kind of I don't know. It, cre- it, cre- it it sort of creates like a really nice dissonance um, between the two tracks to make it a little bit creepier. Yeah. And then I just sampled the the vocals of that. And into the beat for the hook, I guess. And um, we had s- the piano chords you hear. We didn't make those on Halloween <laughs> night. No, we didn't. We had some different... They had, like, kind of similar chords that I tried to make, but, again, too much soda, and I couldn't. Yeah. So we came back later, and I did the real spookier chords, which are very spooky, and I'm yeah. proud of. The original was like... Dun, 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 dun. Like, literally, that's it yeah. on repeat for the whole song. And I was like, all right, this is too damn repetitive. I yeah. need to switch it up here. But the new stuff we got was pretty mm-hmm. good, and we actually put in a um, like a uh, an an orchestra bass, like mm-hmm. a, or like an upright bass, yeah. as the uh, as like the low end with a little bit of an eight oh eight at the beginning of some bars. But like, it's, it was a very acoustic process, mm-hmm. Thomas. It's pretty neat. Thank you. Um, so just a little bit uh, about the lyrics. Um, it sounds cool. like each one of you was a certain monster. Like a vampire. That was part of the idea. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it went all the way. I was not a monster. Sam wasn't. I was just a bad person. Yeah. (laughs) I was a... Which is a monster in its own (laughs) right. I was a vampire. You were a zombie. zombie. Yeah. And then I went with Ghost. And then Sam just... The way I interpreted it, um, I felt like Sam was kind of a nice guy, if you know the term. (laughs) Like R slash nice guys. Like... Oh, I want to watch a sitcom with you. Oh, yeah, Friends. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, you yeah. want to yeah. try hard for you. a girl, but, like... I did that is actually true. Yeah. About true. Without meeting her parents first. Yeah. <laughs> without meeting yeah. her parents first. That's... It just felt, like, a little bit too far where it's like, this is starting to get creepy. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what? Maybe that, that was, was my intention. creepy, yeah. 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 You were just, we'll like, a that. creepy yeah. guy. Yeah. You were just yourself. Hey, now. Fears. Want to talk a little bit about fears? Like, are they... Are they actual real fears that you guys have, or no? Well, well, it, it, kind of. Some of us. I had I um, I had scared of the dark, but then that kind of <laughs> that morphed into that, the comedy of that one is that I kind of wanted it to start with scared of the dark and then just start a hatred of my <laughs> fake step fake stepdad. Fake stepdad, yeah. By the way, F. Sean. F. Yeah. Sean. He don't F. deserve Sean. mom. <laughs> he sucks at mom the lot. Yeah. Yeah. But that was it. I'm not. Really, you scared of the dark? 
my actual fear is spiders, mm -hmm. but I didn't make a make. I don't know why I didn't do that, but uh, it worked no. out. It worked out. This is one of my favorite songs on the. It's one of my favorites. So. Like I'm not actually scared of teenagers. I'm not scared of teenagers <laughs> who jewel. I just I'm worried for their lungs. Yeah, there it. you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're scared for them. I'm scared for them. Yeah, exactly. and that's the them. real fear. <laughs> what did What did you have? Oh, beers. mine was snakes, and I actually am terrified yeah, of he snakes. Is. I yeah, can't so stand the, them. Yeah. I hate snakes. Because of snakes on a plane. Snakes on a plane? Right. And yeah. And I had an encounter with a snake at an early age in Arizona <laughs> that I did not like. Do you want to tell that story? Do you want to yeah, talk no. about it, Adam? <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. Uh, All you need to know is that the snake was too close and too loud when it was hissing and yep. too fast when it was jumping. <laughs> I did not like that. By the way, anything over, what is it, six legs? Too many legs. Just yeah, like that's, for, that's my yeah. rule. Yeah. Makes sense. Any creature that has over six legs is, is too, too many much. legs. What about you, Garrett? What's yeah, your my, my fear was uh, heights. And right. I mean, I don't, I'm not really afraid of heights. I just came up with one there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just had to come up with a fear there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fear of heights is a pretty They're cool. all pretty relatable It's a common fears. one. Yeah, they're relatable. So that's a good thing about the song is that it's relatable. Yeah. And like so. some people may have a hatred for their stepfather. Yeah, yeah. Know, and they can and relate that's to. <laughs> and it's giving the audience a voice. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> giving yeah. all this track is about. Yeah, yes. It's, yeah, it's, it's just about everybody's got yeah. fears, man. Yeah, that's the idea. Everyone's got years. fears. And yeah. How was the intro made? Because it kind of sounded like a retro PlayStation One kind of vibe to it. The intro? Yeah, like just like the first few the notes. Gongs. Oh, the, the gongs, gongs. Yeah. Um, well, we wanted it to, wanted it to we wanted hard. it to build up like a, like a, like an intro, like mm -hmm. we've heard from other albums, because we really like that idea, and I think yeah. we all kind of like that, mm -hmm. so we made like a, yeah, I kind of, you, you I, yeah, created I it. kind of like, I, yeah, I kind of like wrote out the whole, like, I, I recorded the whole like orchestra thing, um, in MIDI, I didn't actually, <laughs> I don't play all these instruments, I just do like MIDI, um, and so I, uh, Let's see, I did the orchestra kind of like building up and adding in more and more elements and then just kind of like simplifying to like a solid build up and then the beat drops with the gong. And actually I didn't have the gong in the beginning. I just had the 808 and I had the percussion like for the drums and the snares and the hi-hats and whatever. Um, and then I needed a little bit more so I found this gong sample and I put a ton of reverb on it and a bit of delay and it just kind of pulled it together I guess. Yeah, it did. Yeah, as you can tell, Adam pretty much did about, I would say, about 90% of this album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The production. Yeah. <clears throat> so going back to uh, minor inconveniences, mm -hmm. like, like you mentioned before, it's just something, you know, you want people to relate to. It's like, we all have that day where we step on an ice cube, and it's like, what? Why? Why? Why did that happen? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, yeah, your socket's all wet, and then yeah. you're just like, ugh. Uh, exactly, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> That's the feeling. It's that like, I really did not need this right now, but, mm -hmm. you know, it happens. Was that written on a day where a minor inconvenience happened, and you just walked in, and you're like, you know what, it's going down right now? I forget I get I the process of it, but... Honestly, I don't think so. Yeah. I think that it was just kind of like, we were like, okay, so what do we do next? It was like, well, we all hate minor inconveniences. Like, it happens to everyone. your toe, yeah. and, uh... Uh, so we all came up with some, you know, minor inconveniences that mm -hmm. we all personally hate, yeah. and we just put s slapped them in a song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Slap, and then we got an yeah. ep epic hook. Mm -hmm. oh, like, oh, yeah. One of the best hooks <laughs> on the album. I say it's the I best think. hook on the yeah. album. Yeah. I forgot what my minor inconvenience was. Um... Yours, oh, yours was when your um, when your earbuds get cut on the yeah. Oh, like, oh, how could you forget on? that, dude? That's <laughs> a classic. Yeah, it rips your earbuds out. And yeah, you can't yeah. jam to your tunes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think in my verse, I just like named a bunch of them. Yeah, you went yeah, crazy. Like, I just stubbing your toe. <laughs> yeah, stubbing stepping your on toe. It. No, going you know, poopy and forgetting your phone. Oh yeah. So you're just no. sitting there and you're bored. Mm -hmm. What's that about? <laughs> um, so if we move on to the next track, it would be. Vibin, mm -hmm. um, which you said was written after the outro. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, Is that our last song? That was the last one. Yeah, that was our last one. Throughout the album, though, I feel like a little bit of the immersion could come from the fact that there's tons of like ups and downs in the album. Like, what do you yes, think about is. that? It's really 
when I think about the ups and downs, yes, there's ups and downs. Um, <laughs> nice, think moving that, up. Because, <laughs> you know, life has ups and downs. Yeah. Right? And, like, sometimes you're going to be down, like, with some minor inconveniences, and sometimes you're going to be up, and you're just vibing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think we looked at the tracks, and we saw a lot of, like, yeah. sad and angry stuff so we're like maybe yeah. we need to maybe yeah maybe we need it to up a little bit be a little so happy that's a little bit of like i just made all that up right there yeah, yeah. I did not. <laughs> so vibin it was written last mm-hmm. like we mentioned for the third time yeah uh <coughs> what was the story behind that i guess uh, we just wanted a happy wanted song some happy vibes i think we were all pretty psyched about this being the last song too so that yeah. was yeah. kind of what made us so yeah, the such an, in a good yeah, yeah, yeah. Like victory lap. lap. You could say that. Yeah, we were all victory in a really lap. good mood, and when we finished it, it was just such a good feeling. Cause yeah. believe it or not, this took us two months, I think, boys. <laughs> yeah. Wow, well, that's actually that's actually a very short amount of time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but compared to it a does lot not of seem like <laughs> it took us two months though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was uh, it was a lot of work to squeeze into two months. Um, then we also did like the promotional video on top of that. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, vibin' was just uh, just some happy vibes. Started off with like a really kind of cheap piano, yeah. and Sam greeting the listeners. Yeah. Saying, "Hey, we're the slides. We're the slides." <laughs> <laughs> and we just we just hope it's something that people listen to when you're feeling down and you exactly. just need. Yeah. The slaggles are here. Yeah. You know. Yeah. We're here for you. We're here for you. So. Yeah, that's that was awesome. that was just vibing. Um, a couple of things in there though. Um, don't go to school. <laughs> Who says that line? God, I think that uh, was you. Oh yeah, no, no that was Lucas. Yeah, that was Lucas. Says you're too, you're, oh, you're yeah. too cool. To too go cool to for school. school. Too cool too for school. school. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, too cool for school. <laughs> yeah, something. Like um, that. It's a common expression. Yeah, just, just saying you're too cool. You don't need to go to school. Just yeah, well, first of all, the Slagles do not endorse skipping school. <laughs> go to school, go to class, get your education, go to school, get your education. Go to school. no matter how cool Study for you finals. are. Yeah. yeah, go to school and show everyone how cool you are. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what's really cool. Um, we do not endorse skipping skipping school. Please attend, get your education. Should we say that before the song starts? Yeah, <laughs> put that in. Fair warning. Fair yeah. warning. The Slaggles do not. <laughs> the Slaggles do not and have never I condoned think skipping school. Just before the entire album, all the things we say, like, we yeah. do not condone crimes yeah. or skipping yeah. school. That should have been the outro. <laughs> yeah. That would have been good. Sam, you had a story oh my. in Vibin. Um, what? Something about, like, a ghost town and for oh. a girl. Yeah. It was all hypothetical. <laughs> All right. I think you just find words. I just that rhyme, yeah. and you throw them in your verse. Yes. Um, you f horses, they go nay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's an example. I what? wouldn't say there's any particular thing in my life that I took that from, except for the, the, the general experience of getting out of that rut, going for some girl, mm-hmm. and just doing what you want to do. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Sure. There's like Master Yoda said, don't. <laughs> What did, what did he say? Uh, don't do, no, no, no try. No, there is no try, there only no do. Try. Only do or do not, there is no try. Right. Uh-huh. Also, size matters not. Yeah. That's a close. <laughs> size yeah. matters not. That's what's up, Yoda. <laughs> Who said this one? I, this might have been Sam, but Dead Like Coco? Dead Like Coco. Dead Like Coco. I think this was in the outro. Oh, that was wow. me. That was you. <laughs> Man, another Dead. one, Adam. Another Pixar. <laughs> so we're going to come back another again. Another Pixar. Yeah, all right. God. Uh, yeah, another Pixar reference. What you want to know about it? Just like where it Just came from? dead like Coco. What do you mean? Like, it is rhymed. Coco. <laughs> yeah, Coco died. Like Coco. All right. Coco, Coco, died Coco for didn't a really die. Mama Coco. Mama. Mama Coco. Oh, I mean, she did. But oh, well, I meant like the movie. I mean, like Miguel in the movie Coco. He didn't really die. But his but, name's but not Coco. Coco, did. Coco, Coco died. I know, but I was talking grandma. about Miguel. <laughs> the, the movie's called Coco. And Miguel doesn't rhyme. Coco did. Right? <laughs> so I was talking about Miguel. <laughs> Okay. By the way, Coco is a fantastic movie. It if you is. haven't seen it, it yeah. is. we're all big it. fans of that. <laughs> yeah. We love the Pixar. Pixar. <laughs> we to, do. Start talking to quote my Pixar. friend Dan, yeah. um, Coco, is that a drug? He literally saw it, or he literally said that when we first saw it. Oh, is that a, <laughs> in the theater? Is that what yeah. it's yeah. about? All the little six year olds. <laughs> Coco, okay. this is about drugs? <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. Nice. <laughs> he was in for a shock. Um, so, in lyrics, you guys admit to something. Uh, rhyme zone. 
What is Rhyme Zone? Rhyme Zone <laughs> is this wonderful Garrett, you got this one. online <laughs> website. Yeah, because that's my verse. Um, mm-hmm. But it it just like you look up a word and it'll give you like every word that rhymes with it. Yeah, it's so sort that was of like, by syllables. Yeah, too. that's how we. Yeah, sort of by so that's basically how we wrote half of our verses. <laughs> yeah, I'd give it more than half. Be more than half. Like, Rhyme zone time. That, It'd be like I verse. can't. I don't know what to put at the end of this line, and I mm. just like I'm lost. Then you look at rhyme zone. Mm. That's and rhyme zone comes down from the heavens. Yeah, it saved our. <laughs> blesses you with, with several rhyming words. So many good words. <laughs> mm-hmm. So many. Yeah, I like to use big words a lot in my verses. So rhyme zone helps because it's like it just sorts them by syllables, and then I'm just like, what's a seven syllable word that I'll throw? <laughs> and it'll be like, it'll Only make Garrett. no sense, and yeah. it'll be perfect. So, yeah. Um, we love Rhyme Zone. We do. Yeah. So, one last thing before we get to the story that Adam is preparing. Oh, Ooh, I um, Thank that. yourself. Right at the album, or right at the end of the album, you're just like, thank yourself. Oh, thank yes. us. Thank yourselves. Yeah. Uh, there it is. There's the voice. <laughs> I mean, so they got through the album. the world back in. I'm here for you. So, Something like that. <laughs> back to that immersive experience. They went through the entire experience. Mm-hmm. And he's like, thank you for going through that experience. And thank mm-hmm. you for putting up for With these ten the songs. Cycles. Yeah, thank yeah. you for listening, actually. And now let everything else back in. Yeah. Yeah. We had to give someone thanks. Yeah. You know, it's, it's nice to have manners. <laughs> yeah, we, we actually heard our neighbors bump in the Sligles one day. Oh, and yeah. That just warmed my heart. That yeah. makes me feel so good. Our neighbors got a new subwoofer. Um, <laughs> and they were and it's really songs. nice. It's really <laughs> loud. And it works fantastic. Um, so we can hear it through the wall uh, quite a bit. <coughs> Sorry, quite a bit. We can hear it through the wall. And so, uh, yeah, we were just chilling one day, and then we heard we heard the bass line of Fears. Yeah. And we were like, what? Wow. They listened to the entire yeah. thing. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, because we heard it early on with, like, it wasn't Shelter. I think it was, oh, yeah, it was We Go Number yeah. One. Because uh, we heard, like, because there's, obviously there's a ton of bass in that song. Um, and so we heard that, and, like, we heard Fears a little bit later. I was like, wow, they're really just going through this right now. Um, yeah, so thank you to all the to all the listeners. We love everyone took the time. who listens <laughs> yeah. to our album. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this kind of goes in a different direction of that, though. Um, I think it was minor inconveniences. You were talking about your neighbors being loud. <laughs> oh, yeah. So does that subwoofer relate to the story? <laughs> it's not those neighbors. Uh, what neighbors is it? It's, oh, it's right across the hall, isn't it? Yeah, right across right across the hall. They uh, they like to leave their door open just because. And they Way also like much. to wrestle out in the hallway. Oh, yeah, they do that um, almost every night. Yeah, I know. God bless college, you know? Yeah. <laughs> really? Gotta love hey, the dorms. Yeah. That's just that's just what they like to do for fun. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, this is how it is sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, looking towards the future, you guys are you guys still making music, or was this a oh, yeah. one hit one? We got something in the works right <laughs> There's now. Something in the works. Yeah. 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 Do we? Uh, kinda... I think we should talk about yeah. it. Yeah. I think we, we should talk, talk about it. it. We have a. Yeah, we can do it. We have a Christmas I single. A Christmas. <laughs> A Christmas Dude, single, yeah, yeah. coming we out. Have a Christmas oh, world reveal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one knows about this. No this knows. we're we're releasing this on the podcast. Yeah. It's uh, do we get the release date? I don't. Do we have a release date? Yeah, we December. Do. We do. It'll okay. be done by then. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But in the future, look for a Slaggles Christmas single. Mm-hmm. Yeah. December fifteenth. A Slaggles Christmas. The eighteenth. December eighteenth. December eighteenth. <laughs> next next That's week. A Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that is a week from today. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, when you go home for Christmas, be sure to show your, show your parents. Oh. Uh, and, uh... uh <laughs> that's up to you, I guess. Is this song sort of a parody of Christmas songs, or... No, we, I don't think uh, so. No, I don't I think, think so. it's still... It's, actually, well, it's have, definitely still funny. We actually yeah. got, um... Haven. 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 On, she, yeah. uh, she won third place in Dragon's Got Talent. Yeah, so pretty big time. Yeah. Um, and, and she did the we hook. Got, we, she did the hook for us. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it's it sounds not too so we got her shabby. On the we got some AD production. There's a couple and of live uh, instruments in there. Yeah, oh, yeah, we actually recorded some live guitar. It's not all MIDI. Yeah, live, live, live acoustic MIDI. guitar live acoustic and guitar. a live electric guitar. Live, live bass. Live bass. Live bass. Guitar. Oh, live snaps. Yeah, live snaps. <laughs> yeah, we, we actually, got some stereo snaps. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we went down to our echoey part of the basement at the end of the hall. Yeah, which, I call that the reverb room. Yeah, because it's really nice. Oh, yeah, concrete everywhere. Yeah, we recorded the guitars in there too. And yeah, so. That'll be really fun yeah. to listen to. Uh, yeah. Garrett on the we bass. Hope, yeah. We Garrett hope people will enjoy 
mm-hmm. that uh, Christmas mm-hmm. single. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be a fun one. I got some sleigh bells in, mm-hmm. and uh, it's like mostly clean. Yeah, yeah, it actually is. I don't think I swear in my verse. Yeah, okay, yeah. so yeah. Think so. so question, Thomas, do you think having s'mores <laughs> in the winter is weird? By the fire, having s'mores, s'mores. by the fire. I was about to say, um, you had to be specific, time. because s'mores, if it was like stovetop, it's like, yeah, that's a treat, but like... S'mores by the fire. Mm-hmm. Is that Honestly, a little odd? No. I don't... Okay. I feel like it adds to the atmosphere in a way. Okay. Yeah, right. you know, s'mores cool. are nice. I, they're s'mores warm. Are, they're nice. They're cozy. Yeah. I yeah. feel like it's just a Christmas cliche, so... I think we could have said S'mores are not a Christmas warm, cliche. Yeah, but <laughs> it just <laughs> like sounds like it is. Like, I've never done it, but I bet you people like do it. Ah, maybe. All right, right, that's enough about that, the Christmas that's thing. That's we gotta stop. We can't talk about it anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, it's definitely very bouncy, though. And we're gonna, I, know I think we're gonna keep making music next semester too. Because yeah. it'd be cool. Yes. Don't. It's, this is not our old, only album. Yeah. So yeah. unless we uh, um, have a really big fight, which right. we probably yeah. won't. The Sligos yeah. won't break. The Sligos won't break. Well, up. No, they won't. They won't. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Uh, well, should we should we say the hypothetical for the next album? No, I don't think so. No, I think we should yet. keep that to no. ourselves. Okay. Not even a little. No, piece? not we gave. Hey, we gave you the we same. What about just like a concept type? No, I don't think so. I haven't even heard this. Con- have I heard this concept? No, you have. Yeah. Oh, I have. Yeah. yeah. I don't think so. I think we it's should just. It's not much different than sitting on a yellow curb. <laughs> <laughs> sitting on a just red know, curb. You're not going quite. the wrong direction. You're going no. the wrong direction. <laughs> but yeah, it's the wrong variable. Just look. <laughs> just look forward to it. Like the curb is why we changed X. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah. Go. Go ahead and think about that one. Hey, what's up? Jordan just walked we're, in. We're just about done. Yeah, yeah we're, we're just about done. I need my script. I'm just continue. Well, you guys want to shout anything out? Your I think social media. Your. Of course, you have the Slagles mm-hmm. sitting on a yellow curb. Yeah, Slagles uh, uh, sitting on a yellow curb is out SoundCloud. now on SoundCloud. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. look up Slagles. Boys, are we gonna do like a uh, distro kid? Kind of thing and get it on Spotify. YouTube, we need to know. We need to figure that out. Apple Music. It's mm. pretty cheap. I think we should figure that out with our next album. We'll discuss yeah. <laughs> with our manager. Our if people, next album. We don't if, have a manager, Gary. <laughs> we need to have one. Yeah. If people we, love what they hear for, from the first one, which I mean, I think we've been getting, really getting positive, 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 yeah, feedback. feedback then we'll, we'll put it on Spotify. Why? Why not? But that's that's it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh... You want to rep Sunday night? I'll rep Sunday night some more. Uh, This summer we're probably going to be gigging all around Minnesota and other places, so keep an eye out for that. And it is not rap music. It is not rap music. It is not rap music. I would (coughs) say it's pop music. It's with Thatcher. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um... I, yeah, I check out it's... check out AD on SoundCloud. Oh, oh yeah. My God, are you sure? Uh, <laughs> yeah, let me uh, give me like a few days. Don't don't check out AD for a few days. Let me delete some stuff, <laughs> and then, then feel free to check it out. Um, yeah, Is Garrett. It? I got nothing, <laughs> and I got nothing. Oh, all right. Well, there was also hold up. Oh, sorry. Uh, free Bobby. Free Bobby. Okay. Shorter. Thomas, what were you going to say? Yeah. Just say Thomas. I just wanted to put that in there real quick. <laughs> All right. Well, one guy I have to mention is Adolfo. Um, he lent me this mic. Same mic as mine because, like, audio, yeah. stuff like that, all the classes. Mm-hmm. And this podcast wouldn't have sounded this good without it. So, little Dolphy on SoundCloud. And thank you, Adolfo. Little Dolphy. Well, I mean, I'm gonna have to look that I'm up. I'm gonna have, have to, to look that up. Yeah. Oh you can God. listen to uh, Cheeseburger Crystal. Cheeseburger. Oh my God. Cheeseburger <laughs> Crystal. What does that mean? <laughs> well, I mean, you can you can find out. <laughs> okay. And also, um, Sorrow was his other song, which he that one he likes. Okay. okay. Cheeseburger Crystal and Sorrow. Yeah. I'll have to listen to those. Okay. Looking forward to that. How is know. Little spelled? Is like L I L. L I L. Okay. L I L. Dolphy. Dolphy, Dolphy with P H. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, thank you. Thomas. This, this was fun. This it was, was actually yeah. really fun. Yeah. We've been going for about fifty minutes. Yeah, I like it. It's time passes, man. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.